Oh, he might hack me if I open this. Ooh. Oh, I thought Harrison knew that we were looking at his stuff, but it's someone else looking at Harrison. I see you. Knock knock, Harrison. Seems I caught your pants down on that little page of yours. Confused? Why, that's fine. You don't know me and I'd like to keep it that way. But I know a lot about you, Media Punk. If you knew what I know, what you know about what this little group of yours did, you would find it just as hard to ignore that those bombs might just carry your name tag. Get what I'm talking about, right? So, the righteous hacker initiate will expose all information I got on you. Might interest the cops, won't it? I have no love for the gov, but I will do what I must, so give me one good reason not to do it, and I might reconsider. Blackmail. Is being blackmailed, yeah. This guy is not actually interested in being righteous, right? Because he's blackmailing this guy. Oh great, now there's a hacker involved in all of this. Because the situation wasn't bad enough as it is. I wonder what this is about. Those bomb might just carry your name tag. Yeah, sure. This is probably the guy that hacked the- No, it is, it is. It's the guy who hacked the, the Thought blog page. Seems like we're not the only ones interested in Mr. O'Donnell. I wonder if this guy has any proof of what he claims. Not sure. Hey, wise ass! This is the most pathetic blackmailing attempt I've read in a long time. You want a damn good reason to not call the cops? I can give you three. Number one. You hacked my site, my web server. Last time I checked, this was highly illegal. Something about glass houses and stones. Number two. I don't get what you want to have found out about me. True. Our protests didn't always go as planned. But since you claim to know so much about me, you should know that this was hardly my fault. What I wanted is all in my blog. Not a word about fucking bombing people, only grabbing attention. But you never even found that out, huh? Where are your mad skills, hacker boy? I'll throw you a breadcrumb so you don't feel too miserable. My nick. I'm the wrong person- Number three. I'm the wrong person to mess around with. Leave. My. Page. Alone. Roll it back and then don't dare to fucking touch it again. I will get you. Promise. He didn't even swear that time. That was me. <laughs> H. For your own worthless sake, I hope it wasn't you who broke into my bank account. Else you're neck deep in sheep shit. Sheep shit? <laughs> even more than you already are. Thought I didn't notice, did you? Like I said, wrong guy. The very wrong guy. You wouldn't have noticed if your bank didn't send you an email, so I'm not too sure if you should be saying too much about this. It is interesting to note that the the hacker never actually said anything. Like, if you want to blackmail someone, wouldn't you want to give them a little bit of what you know? You can't just say, hey, I know stuff about you, so pay up. Like, <laughs> right? Actually, that guy doesn't even want money. Doesn't say that. Ooh. Ah, oh, hey you. National Opinion, shut the Pargesian border. Harry, this time, Harrison O'Donnell argues why the border to the Parges needs to be closed. Take a look at Trifliff. For instance, the situation there seems to be escalating yet again. 2008 much? And just like then, the nation will let itself get dragged into the conflict. Safety of any citizen is of utmost importance. That has been the party's premise ever since 2009, and ever since it has been working like a charm. Until now, that is. As some self-proclaimed benefactors in the opposition claim that the borders are meant to be open to possible refugees. If I didn't know how we suffered already nine years back, I would agree without a doubt. I would walk out there and welcome them personally with arms wide open. But I do remember perfectly well. Though my name isn't Nostradamus, let me foretell something. We will see a rise in acts of terrorism in the very close future. Who knows? Maybe next week a bomb will go off in the middle of Farview or Bonton. Whoa. Don't you pretend to not have been warned when that happens. 
Whoa. Predicted. Yeah, that's a that's a reasonable thing to put in there, yeah. Hmm, yeah. I read the article. That was strange indeed. And with the bombings now. Oh. Pharma couple suspected of fraud. Oh, that's me. That's me. I did that. Harry supports the governmental position. What? Now he does. He deleted everything. Hancock's writing on- Oh, that's his blog. Anyway, what's this? A new Watergate scandal? Did renowned pharmaceutical boss Bruno Watergate know about the fraud? Oh, accounting fraud! Hey, I thought this was about Cassandra- or saving Cassandra. Getting her out of the case, but this is something else. Watergate. Suspects in... Corruption case. Their offices have been raided. Reports state that a hint originating from a completely unrelated case sparked the investigation, which suggested that the company has been manipulating their financial reports. The extent of the fraud claims remain unknown at this time, as does that face whether the executive power couple are directly involved with the allegations or were aware of the fraudulent practices. Oh, okay, not much really going on. Headlines. Yep, that's it. Okay. Juliet's timeline. When I learned about Stellingen this morning that two people had been killed, I felt devastated because I felt responsible. I have spent five years of my life at this university. I even organized a peaceful protest at the Stelligan campus. It has been the center of my life for a while. And to see terrorists pervert this place for their foul reasons strikes my heart. I feel truly sorry for anyone concerned. There's our second location. Hey! Conflict? Conflict? Okay. We should leave it alone for now then. Ah, oh, we can leave a message. Nice picture, dude. Now we should keep this one, cause no sunglasses. Hancock, Bonson, Liberator, and Professional Douche. Should I go back from the beginning? No. No, 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 fucking no. The perfect safety of the individual is our ultimate goal. We have stated so before in our election in 2009 that we will stay true. This is a quote from when the party was elected. These words came from the glorious majesty herself, Miss Catherine Delacroix, Lady Security, this very morning. I can't even find the words for how mind-bogglingly stupid the government's plan is. Let's turn on our brains for a second and think. What do people value most these days? Freedom, of course. The freedom to say stupid things on the internet. The freedom to choose between a trillion cell phone brands. The freedom to walk around with the most ugly haircut ever sculpted. If safety is what everyone is longing for so much, go lock yourself into a barn because taking risks is part of living your life, you idiots! I'm telling you! The next step that the government will take will be to stop citizens from doing things before the thought has even popped up in their heads. Minority report anyone? Thus, there will be no more freedom to choose, no freedom whatsoever. This is a dangerous pitfall, seriously. That's uh, from 2013. Very different position from what he currently says in the column. If there is any hope in this country, it lays with its people. It is resembled by every freely thinking mind, every individual of this fucked up place that is willing to switch on their brains. Safety is a lie, nothing but a buzzword used to cause fear and take control from you. If you don't get that, you might as well turn into a remote controlled zombie and say bye bye to free will. But people love staying blind, as long as they have the illusion of safety. So what I need now is a way of getting this truth in everyone's head. And then in August, he wanted to start a band. <laughs> and wanted to call them enemy of the state or the most wanted. Music is an excellent way to add to the spice of emotion needed in order to make important messages stick in your mind. And hell, I'm ready to be a rock star. I already live in a trailer anyway. 
Yeah. So I might as well go for the full gutter punk life. Oh, come on. Can you please get more stereotypically antisocial? How is living in a trailer being antisocial? That just means he's poor, right? Run around naked! Eat chocolate pudding from a diaper! Insult your mom on timelines! It's mind-boggling how anything, no matter how mundane, will generate attention these days. As long as it's not normal, a construct of society that doesn't make sense by the way. And there's a camera around. You can be sure we will hear about it. The ever-present cameras are one reason this set exists at any rate. Everyone loves the sound of clicking tsunamis in the morning. I already got a nice plan of my own. As soon as I get myself a handful of like-minded people, we're gonna occupy that friggin' elitist university stelligan, that's for sure. I bet we could scare those cardigan-wearing conformists into a great deal, just by showing our ugly faces. Oh, how I'd love to see them running. That's why his friends are so surprised that he was going to Stelligan. Plan to occupy Stelligan University. But Juliet says that she organized the protest. What the heck? What? Could there have been two different ones? I mean, they could both be responsible for it. It doesn't have to be one over the other, right? Hell yes, it's happening. After years, my plan is finally taking shape. It even has a name, Thought. Oh. I thought Goldfells made that name up. Finally, a counterpart to the radical reigning of totalitarian surveillance. And I'm glad to have a capable companion in this. One who came up with the best idea for a demo ever. Not gonna tell you, it's a surprise. I can only urge you to join us in our aim to unleash this pitiful, pathetic wannabe democracy of a country from its shackles. For freedom is not free in a place where every move is observed and analyzed. Help us make freedom free again. Make freedom free again. Ooh. Your articles suck, lol. You should go write poetry instead. While he was staring at the flashing monitor in the dark, all alone in the room that he was allowed to inhabit by his parents' mercy, and only dressed in his dotted shorts that his mom had disposed this morning, he finished the words, You, you are article suck, with a strike of the enter key, and in that moment he was content. Or maybe even euphoric, haha, <laughs> for he had never written anything more intelligent or relevant in his entire life. <laughs> Hancock. Harrison, despite his punk nature, surprisingly is a pretty, pretty smart guy. Good writer. I like the idea that you want to start a band. What about the name The Targets? Sounds kind of lame to me. Huh. But they used it. Ooh, Goldfells. Dear Hancock, by pure coincidence, I stumbled upon your site. Frankly, your thinking and your attitude to get other people think alike left quite an impression on me. I am looking for people willing to join a debate club called The Thought, and I think your presence could really liven up the discussion. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. Update that. Dear Goldfells, I feel a little confused now. Is this Thought a blog, an activist group, or a debate club? Perhaps all three? It is quite confusing. Dear Goldfells, I don't know where you got the weird impression that I would be willing to join some debate club. Oh! Wow, he didn't even want to do it. Oh, but he probably didn't know that Goldfells was a professor at Stelligan. Yeah. What's a PN? Drop me a private note? I don't know. I like what you're doing here, I can relate to you being fed up with the government. We gotta act now, wanna meet sometime? <laughs> the government is scanning all the websites for potential threats. They make people disappear that spread rebellious ideas. It's vital that people like you show courage and write about this truth. A heartfelt thank you. Hmm. Yeah, that guy's being a little bit too conspiracy theory-ish. Okay. 
I want to go back to this. What I wanted is all in my blog. Yeah, so I feel like what is on his blog should be his real opinion, as opposed to what he writes in the columns, because that's just for the public. Like this stuff here. About how... He thinks the government is stupid. But why? Like, what... Why did he change his position? Is it because he needs the money, or... What? Okay, there's quite a few things here, but I'll leave it alone for now. Easy way to forget about things, but I don't wanna... I don't wanna make a mistake. What's new? Is that new? Outskirts camping. And Wi-Fi. Okay, I don't know how that's relevant now, but not before. Maybe I missed it earlier? Outskirts camping? That's one ugly place, but I guess it's cheap. Yeah. Alright. Topic. Debate club invitation. Yep. Dear readers, I would like to invite those of you who are interested to our newly founded debate club called The Thought. Our primary discussion will revolve around how people can best be made aware of a topic in the age of information overflow. First, we will brainstorm and discuss various options, then dependent on participation and interest of attendees, we will perform practical exercises and test sessions for empirical research. The Thought meetings are scheduled to take place every Thursday night at 7pm sharp. Meetings will take place at Cafe Chestnut at Stelligan Campus. No registration required, just come by. Blog? Debate club? Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, haha, what a smart kid you are. 1,000 posts. Hmm. If I find time after work, I might come around. I'm a general law student in my ninth semester. Ninth semester? Can I claim any credit points for participating? Yeah, somehow, he managed to get... Harrison. Huh. I guess he PM'd him, and he's like, okay, I'm interested. I'm not a student, only here for self-improvement, but the topic really piqued my interest. Am I able to join? My name is Nina, by the way. Uh, whoa. Hancock. Let's be honest with one another, shall we? The first few sessions were not exactly full, aka fucking empty. So yeah, last thing Abe and me are gonna do is give up hope. So we would be glad if you dropped by next Thursday. It doesn't matter who you are. We don't care whether or not you're from Stelligan. I'm not. Just a guy with ideas. Who maybe is lucky enough to realize some of them soon. So, Nina, you will be very welcome at thought. Nina. Okay. We don't have any proof that Nina actually went. Well, we don't know if she's a member. Okay. We got a green light for Nina. We know that Nina's username is concerned one. That's not really a registered username though. It's a guest, right? It's not a... They didn't even register an account. Oh, I'm scared. I don't want to open that. Nothing new. Not that I can see. Did it just get hacked even more or what? Okay. It's probably time for us to make a decision on the... Conflicting chunks. Which I believe are on Harrison's blog. This is from 2013. Oh, but we still don't know what this... Oh, what the heck? Hang on. This chunk has two conflicts. Oh my gosh. See, it's 2017 now. And this guy's like, oh yeah, I love the government. They're the best. But in 2013 at least. 
he was like, no, F the government. We're still missing a chunk, so let's not use this yet. This one, though. Did Juliet? What? Like, who? I don't... <laughs> Why are they... Mm. Is Juliet lying? Because Juliet... When she was talking to Abe... Was it... No, it was this one. Freedom Plaza was organized by thought, but Harrison did all the planning for it. Oh, that doesn't conflict with what Juliet said. Is this really a conflict though? They could both be involved with it. As soon as I get myself a handful of like-minded people, we're going to occupy that friggin' elitist university still again. I don't know about this. This is... Again, not enough information, I think. What did we say earlier? What did I make Cassandra say? So earlier, Juliet said that Harrison did all the planning for it. But then later, Cassandra was like... Oh, let's go back to that page. It was the band page, right? This is so confusing. This was... July. Maybe... Maybe Cassandra's information is just wrong. I don't... Oh... Oh my, my. I don't know. We gotta pick one. Yeah, um... Where am I looking at? But the whole reason, the whole reason that Juliet is into politics is because of Harry. So I think I want to put down Harry as the one who planned it. Oh, but that would mean that I made a mistake earlier then. Because I said that Juliet, I didn't say Juliet was lying, but I went with what Cassandra was saying. You know what? Let's just, let's just roll with this. Ah... Uh... Freedom Plaza and Stelligan. Very well. It is a pattern, exactly as we suspected. But we still have no idea about the third location. You need to be diligent now. Lives might hang in the balance. In the worst case that we cannot determine the location on time. Well, I might have to conduct an interrogation with Miss Watergate. I want to avoid it though. She's behaving pretty defiantly, I've been told. Looking at what you found so far, I think I might have enough information to put some pressure on her. Okay. Knock knock Harrison, the thoughts are free once again. We're not done yet, you and me. But first on, I must turn to another. What does that even mean? Whoa! Oh, he's uh... The guys reversed this. Could it be Nina? They're all still private. Just like before. Ah, metamorphosis. The fight for freedom will be carried into the streets starting today and thought will be the spearhead. The government consists only of ass-kissing motherfucking turds. He's actually very hostile. <laughs> huh. And that was only last year, or two years ago. Ah, the beauty that is freedom of speech. Isn't it great that in this country, I can say whatever I please and no one can hold it against me? It's just my opinion and you might disagree. And you shouldn't because I'm right at that, but yeah, you may. And you might as well judge me to be an asshole. And that's fine, too. It isn't. As long as it will not have legal consequences for me. I think it is a great measurement of the amount of freedom in our country. That as long as I'm able to write this, and there isn't any governmental superior lackey taking that statement and reporting it to some superior. We are truly free. Wow, the irony. George Orwell said, if liberty means anything at all, 
It means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. True that. With the current course toward more and more surveillance, our state of the nation's slow metamorphosis, it is inevitable that this will change one day. And it's damn well possible that day isn't too far off at all. There must be a counterweight to this process and the answer can only be that the thought no longer stays in our heads. No, we will carry it onto the streets of the nation, becoming transformed and by the re-implanted back into the mind. And by that, re-implanted back into the mind. An invincible idea that we shall always truly be free. Concern Nina. Action! Let's hold a little proclamation where we were born. Let's piss off the so-called young elite. No offense, Abe. My friends, though I share your enthusiasm toward acquiring people's attention, it would be better to avoid Stelligan as a place of demonstration for the moment. Because of the increased student fees, the atmosphere is heated up enough as it is. What? Ah, oh, what a pity! But you're probably right, Abe. So what about holding a proclamation on a government building then? Sounds like a worthy first demo. Oh my god. I think we need to strike into the heart of everyday people to really cause a stir. We should go for a storming in a Bonson Mall as our first thing. Maybe even wait until it's all busy, say around Christmas? Oh my god. We shouldn't discuss this here. <sighs> um... Hang on. They don't conflict with one another. Oh, what the heck? They conflict with something we don't know. Okay, well, let's put this in first. So, an activist group after all. And now we know who had the primary say in that. The government only consists of ass-kissing motherfucking turds. The government's the best! Rejects governmental position. Ah, okay, so we have three different things here. Kind of on a spectrum on how severe it is. Does he accept the government? Does he reject the government? Or does he really hate the government? Ah, uh, well he said all three things. And it's all him, so I don't really know... Oh, hang on. Unknown conflict? We know this, don't we? Did I not- wait, where is it? Yeah, this one. I don't know. He did say all three things, but I don't really know which one is his true position. Oh, one of these locations is probably... Uh, probably where a third bombing is gonna be. Can we look around a little bit first? here yep same old articles did the picture change oh did we not have that before Cassie no we do have that yeah okay Nina. Oh, this was Nina. Guy hurt there was only a goddamn cop. It was messy, I know. All the way back to the thing I messed up organizing. Ooh, Nina, Nina. Who is this Nina? Interesting. What did she do for thought that she might have messed up? I bet this goes both ways. Yep. Despises law enforcement forces, and they despise her. These are all still the same, I think. Oh, there's so many things for us to decide. I'm really not too sure. This Nina person, though, she's definitely very... Aggressive. 
I'm glad we finally get to action. <sighs> I thought what this conflicts with was this thing, but it doesn't... Mm. This might be a bug, or maybe we just don't know it. Okay. We still haven't decided on the other thing yet, I don't think. This one, this one. What should I tell Symes that Harrison's views are? I definitely don't think that he supports the government. I think he's just saying that. So he can have a job. Exactly what Juliet said in the chat. In fact, maybe we should review that. You know, it's funny you dare speaking of disgrace when Rosen is the government's personal bitch, in case you didn't know. Yeah, privately, he definitely hates the government. Yeah, he deleted all his rebellious posts to secure his job. How much does he hate the government, though? When he's talking to the hacker, he seems pretty confident that, you know, he didn't do anything wrong. Um, I'll go with a little bit of a more mild view then. I'll tell Symes that... Hancock? Oh, where am I going? Hancock rejects the government position. But he doesn't like... He's not aggressive. How about that? I don't know. July 2015. Oh! 2013. Actually, it might be in my interest to... Sorry I'm going back and forth on this, but I'm really lost. Hostile towards government. 2015. Kind of recent. But the most recent one is the one that was in the column, but I don't believe that reflects his true position, so I'm gonna put this one. Hostile towards government. I might be pointing fingers at the wrong person, but... It's better to be suspicious of someone than not, right? Oh, I don't know about this! The kind of hostile that builds bombs most likely. I don't know about that. Okay, over here. Government building. Freedom Plaza. Like, wh what does this conflict with? I I thought it was the other one. I want to find all of them before I make a decision. But if I can't, then... Am I missing anything? Don't... No. Oh! This location, I know it! It's either gonna be the bomb or it's not. Oh! But I don't know who... Abe? Not Abe. Harry talks a lot of shit, but he... I don't know, he hasn't really been so hyper-aggressive until Nina came in, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna put the mall. Yeah. Cause the government building... Like, if we're talking about proclamations, sure. Protest at the government building, but if we're thinking about the bombing, if we're giving a possible location for Symes to check out, I don't think the thought or like whoever's doing the bombings would bomb a government building because it's so high security. Maybe the mall. Maybe the mall. Oh god, oh god, this could be so bad, this could be so bad. Oh lord, oh lord. But this person is really aggressive, this Nina person. Yeah. Messed up organizing something. Oh, I don't know about this, I don't know about this. Oh! This Nina blinded? Are you sure? A mall? Well, that must be it then. That's where the third bomb will be. Oh my god. No! Symes, the other one too. But there are dozens of malls in Bonton. Which one is it? Alright, if that's all we have, 
It's what we have to work with, so let's get this interrogation thing going before we run out of time. I'm actually located in the same facility where Miss Watergate is being detained. I'll have her moved into an interrogation room and walk across. To cover my identity, I will connect to her via an internal hardline. Let's just hope that whatever you have provided gives us enough to leverage over her. I'll open a connection for you to eavesdrop. After all, this is your case too. Plus, we need all the possible info found in Orwell. Hold on. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Oh, but what if it's at the government building? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's a little bug here. It still says that the conflict is unknown, but it's these two, right? Oh god, okay, 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 okay. Whew. Who is this? Why can't you just leave me alone? Miss Watergate, my name is Symes. Great, Symes. You can go fuck yourself. I already told the other guys everything over and over again. It wasn't me who hurt the office. We have new evidence that states otherwise, which is why you're in custody again. But that's not what this is about. We are investigating the bombings at Freedom Plaza and Stelligan. I just want to ask you some questions. Cooperate. And it might reflect positively on you. Oh, you want to frame me for this as well? I must be such a busy terrorist. I was right here in prison while I set up a goddamn bomb at Stelligan? We know you didn't trigger the bomb at Stelligan. Maybe not even the one at Freedom Plaza. We do know, however, you have been in close contact with a group named Thought. What? They have nothing to do with it. I want to talk to my lawyer right now. You mean that boyfriend of yours, Joseph Langley? You know that? We know a lot about you, Miss Watergate. Huh. <laughs> I don't need to call him then. Now shove off. Your defiance towards me is not advisable. What about your parents? Bruno and Alice. They've got a nice company, don't they? Association with a criminal case against their daughter, yet again, could hurt them badly. <laughs> Last time I was in custody, all they ever did about it was suggesting I'd leave my position as junior COO. Does that give you the impression of a picture-perfect family? True. We didn't find any hints at them helping you get out by legal, by illegal means. We did find some irregularities in their books, though. What? Oh, you haven't heard yet? It's all over the news. You bastard! Leave them alone! They might be assholes, but they're still my parents. They don't deserve this! Possibly? Perhaps I could help if you cooperate, Miss Watergate. No way. I won't cooperate with a puppet like you. Well, have it your way, then. We have your confession in regards to that nasty incident with the police officer. You'll have to go through the whole process again. It's gonna drag on for a long time. And where did you get the supposed confession? I never did anything! We know that you have been talking to Miss Carrington about it. Have you been spying on me, you dirty little government fucker? I'd hold my breath with a confession like that, Miss Watergate. You're in deep, very deep, with a confession like that. It's not a confession if... If it has been acquired illegally? Is that what you wanted to say? Well, bad luck for you, Miss Watergate, but we have been acting based on the safety bill. It's all legal and official. See? It's right here in your profile. No! Why? I hope you'll like your cell and your cellmates. But... Cooperate and avoid this at once! Why are you doing this to me? Just answer my questions and I might be able to help. I... I don't know what you expect from me. I first went to the Freedom Plaza demo. I, I don't know much about their plans. We know the person going by the name of Nina had plans to storm a mall. Do you know which one? Mall? A mall. Yeah, a mall was mentioned once or twice. I think it was that huge place, the Circle Mall. The Circle Mall? Are you completely sure? Yes. Yes, I do think so. All right. This will have to suffice. Wait. What about this reflecting positively on me, huh? Your cooperation was noted. All will be dealt with in due time. Goodbye. Wow, Symes is, uh... Playing the bad cop. <laughs> Not sure about that attitude, but whatever. Huh. I guess that went... Good. Thank God you provided valuable info. Unfortunately for Miss Watergate, I can't do much for her. It just doesn't work like this. What's in Orwell is an Orwell, and acting upon it is mandatory. Whoa, that's... that's kind of a stupid system, isn't it? 
I know what you must think now, but would you rather not save these people? We did the right thing, you and me. Looks like the biggest mall in all of Bonton, the Circle Mall, is our target. All hell will surely break loose once the report goes out, but I don't think we have a choice. Oh, I hope it's the mall, I hope it's the mall! Add the data chunk to Cassandra's profile, and I'll inform the cavalry so they can do their job. Oh, but what if it's the government building? I am so screwed if it is. Oh. Lord, have mercy. Okay, it's done. Evacuation is in progress. Better keep our fingers crossed that we're right, and that we're not too late already. Why can't I tell them about both and send people to both? Oh. Now all we can do is wait. Oh, what now? Esther. The heck? Welcome to Rosentech. This is PR. Hello, honey. It's me again. Mom. I just heard breaking news on the radio. They're evacuating the Circle Mall. They also told everyone to avoid places around the mall. You best head home at once. Evacuating? Oh, Mom, I just can't. I can't just leave work. You're overdue already. Oh, well, yeah. Fine, I'll get home soon, okay? Thank you, honey. See you soon. Be careful. Yeah, see you, Mom. Hmm. Jesus, what's taking so long? This waiting around makes me feel so hopeless. Oh, no, no, I'm scared. But, I really think you did fine. I shall... Yes! 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 A homemade explosive device has been found by the local police units on the scene at the Circle Mall. We did it! Yeah, high five slimes! We saved all those people! Your diligence was brilliant! Next, we'll pull this Nina apart and find out who is really responsible for all this mess. Really great work. Get some rest. You deserve it. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I'm so happy. An explosive device has been found and disarmed at the Circle Mall in Bonson. After a sudden evacuation and a thorough search, a device which has been identified as homemade bomb has been found by the police forces at Circle Mall. The device has been disarmed by specialists. Although authorities refuse to comment at this time, it is suspected that this might have been the bombing announced earlier by the letter found at the previous bomb site. We'll continue our report as the situation develops. For the moment, it's strongly advised to keep clear of the area around the Circle Mall. Hmm. Yeah. And now that we're here, one thing that I wish I did differently... I wish I did not put that Harrison is hostile. I wish I just put that he was against the government. Cause it seemed like, okay, I mean, it's kind of a big leap to make just based off reading a few blog posts and stuff. But previously, it just seemed like he was someone who is very passionate about everything, but he's not violent. But then this Nina person came in and changed him. Much like how Harrison got Juliet into politics too. So, Keeping that in mind and knowing that the bomb was actually at the mall, I would have liked to say that Harry disagrees with the government, but is not outright hostile. But there's not much we can do about that now. Okay. Are you sure you want to finish your work for today? Uh, is there anything we haven't gone? I don't think so. I think that's it. If we're missing anything, too bad. Hmm. So, saying that Cassandra's parents might be involved with her getting out did help in the call. Interesting. Interesting. I'm not too sure how, how, um, if the consequences really matter in this game, but at least for the moment, I do feel like that's the case, so... Pretty happy about that. Yeah. Alright. Let's log out for the day, then. Yeah. Wow, we learned a lot of new stuff today. Yep, there was an assault at Stelligan. The thought 
held three demonstrations, the locations of which seem to match the bombing locations. You know, I'm very happy that we got the bomb. Thought is inactive. The bombings may be the deeds of a single individual. Due to your efforts, a bombing at the Circle Mall was prevented. Um, I'm very happy about that, but at the same time, I'm not sure if that was actually me, or was it luck. Cause I did try to say a lot of things to make it seem like it was more reasonable for me to pick them all, but I probably could have made up some other reasons to support the other location if I really wanted to, so... I think that was luck. We learn about Harrison. We know his address. We do? Huh. We learn about Abraham, too. We learn a little bit about Juliet, but all these people don't seem to be... the most important person. Nina. Nina. A protest in the mall was based on her planning. And the place that she suggested was the bombing site, so... She's fishy. But we'll end off today here then.